Hey guys, this is Tim from ARS. Today we're going to talk about ways to use the ARS Multivent Rescue Strap to perform SCBA conversions on downed firefighters. We're all familiar with the technique of using the SCBA waist strap, disconnecting it, and then reconnecting it through the legs of the firefighter to make it more into a harness for lifting and horizontal drags. But that can be super difficult to do, especially if you can only access one side of the firefighter. So we're going to use the Multivent Rescue Strap to do this today. We're going to start with what we call the basic conversion. So I'm going to take the midpoint of the strap with the carabiner, connect it to the waist strap of the SCBA. Then I'm simply going to wrap the closest leg to me and drop that end loop into the carabiner. Now at this point I can be done if I want to and start my drag, or if I have the dexterity to do it, depending on the conditions, I can tighten this up and go to my next available loop and it's just going to make it a little bit tighter fit on the down firefighter. Again, from here we can start dragging or we can use this tail to our advantage what we can do is go up to the shoulders of the firefighter, either run the strap directly through the shoulder strap and start pulling, or grab my end loop and a bit of the strap coming on the other side to form a U and start our drag. And this is great because it drags both from the shoulders and the legs simultaneously all while incorporating the pack. So it's a great way to, to do down firefighter movement. Again, this is called the basic pack conversion. Our next step, we're going to use the strap and instead of just hitting one leg loop, we're going to create two leg loops in the down firefighter. Effectively creating a seat harness for our down firefighter. This is super ideal if we have to go up steps, especially if the down fireman does not have a built-in harness into their gear. So what we're going to do is start with our midpoint again, get that SCBA waist strap, again go around the legs and drop the loops in, only this time we're going to do both legs. Now we've created a seat harness. So this also gives us vertical lift capability. It's especially beneficial if we've got to go up steps. The fireman rescuing at the bottom who's at the legs now has handholds he can hold on to while the top shoulder firefighter can use the shoulder straps to do the vertical movement. So it gives us a lot of options for, for lifting a move. Finally, what we're gonna do, it's a similar setup, but it's ideal for vertical lifting. So again, we're gonna start with our midpoint, but instead of connecting it to the waist strap, we're just gonna leave it loose, wrap the legs, and then simply drop the end loops over that center carabiner point. Now we're gonna come up to their shoulders, loosen the shoulder straps, take that carabiner and connect to both SCBA shoulder straps and tighten them down. This creates in effect a bit of a class three harness. So if we have to do lifting, it's gonna combine both the legs and the shoulder straps, which tend to be the part of the SCBA to come loose first whenever you're doing dragging or lifting operations. Again, it's simple and quick. Those are three options to use the ARS mode to the rescue strap for SCBA pack conversions. You can learn more about the versatility of this tool at andersonrescue.com.